Well, as we've been talking about this afternoon, Hurricane Michael is now making landfall in Florida. The National Hurricane Center says the storm is packing sustained winds nearly 150 miles an hour. Here's the latest from Florida. Giant waves are thrashing Florida's Panama City Beach as Michael takes aim at the panhandle. The storm strengthened overnight. Unfortunately, uh, Hurricane Michael is a hurricane of the worst kind. Major hurricanes cause uh, large, large losses of life. Forecasters are most worried about a probable 13-foot storm surge. When that storm surge comes in, you have no control of it. Uh, there's so much pressure and it pushes everything in and then it sucks everything out. Michael is also expected to dump more than a foot of rain and lash the area with 145 mile per hour sustained winds. Given the strength of the storm, nearly 400,000 people were urged to evacuate along the Gulf Coast, but officials warn time has now run out. You've waited too long. Uh, you know, you've got to hunker down. You've got to get uh, shelter as quickly as you can. For the most part, people have heeded warnings, but some are staying put. Never been through a hurricane before, heard lots about it, watched them on television. We'd stay and see it out. Florida has deployed at least 3,000 National Guard troops. Search and rescue teams from states as far away as Indiana and Pennsylvania are also ready to help once the storm passes. It's humanity. It's going out and helping folks that are, who are in need. Michael is shaping up to be the most powerful hurricane to ever hit the Florida panhandle. Forecasters say they've never seen anything like it. Nicole Killigan, CBS News, Panama City Beach, Florida. Now, Hurricane Michael has already left its mark on parts of Central America, killing at least a dozen people and dumping nearly a foot of rain in Cuba.